Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to Tafferton. It's the 7th of April, May, 10 o'clock in the morning, and the colonists right now are gathered uh, for Memorial Day, a remembrance of the fallen brothers and sisters of our tribe. Uh, we have survived numerous raids, including the last one on the 2nd of April, May. There was a refugee that crashed outside the colony not that long ago either. But uh, he didn't stick around. He packed his bags and just walked out. He decided that there was nothing here for him. And it may have had something to do with all of the blood and guts that are still painting the floors and probably the walls of this place as well. We've got a bandit camp opportunity. Um, the mayor of the seaside townsfolk of Shadow Plain wants us to go take out a bandit camp. They'll give us a muffalo wool murf coat. Masterwork quality if we do. Uh, it is all the way down there. I don't think we're going to do it. I still don't really feel comfortable um, going on raids and things like that with our colonists. I'm pretty sure if I sent a squad out to, say, attack the 8th Division Infantry up there or any other group, they all... I can't guarantee that they all would make it back. In fact, what I can guarantee is that they all would not make it back. I would like to be able to at least assume that that's not the case. But I think we know better. Uh, uh, our caravan will be arriving very soon, I hope, with the supplies that we gathered from that wreck site. And the first thing we're going to build with them, besides the material analyzer over there, is a bamboo mending workbench to start repairing some of the clothing that people are wearing. Uh, our clothing stockpiles here are completely full now. In fact, I need to destroy some of this stuff, so I've set up the tailoring work workbenches to recycle crappy apparel. Anything that's awful through good or 35 hit points or lower is just going to be recycled into its base components. Uh, we'll start working on primarily just having quality clothing here. <laughs> and not run down, tattered, raggy, poorly made uh, pieces of garbage draped over our bodies. What are you doing, rat? You can go eat these pieces of fabric if you want. Go gnaw on them. If the rats don't eat this stinky clothing, the sun will basically beat it into a pile of dust. Uh, other than that stuff, there's not a whole lot going on right now. There's continuing to be harvests of um, vegetables and stuff. Pretty much every other day, it seems like. Our local friendly god snake is just walking around killing stuff. It bites off entire body parts in one chomp. Killed the cassowary, I'm pretty sure. It killed an elephant down here somewhere earlier, but it probably ate the whole thing in like one bite. I don't see a body anywhere. Oh, and there's another one. Two Titan of Boas. Let's see, that's a female. This is a female, too. If we had a female and a male, it might almost be worth it to risk the life of a colonist to go t try and tame both of them. I'm still not convinced I could actually keep that thing fed unless it was going to go hunt on its own, which it probably would. I'm going to have to adjust everybody's priorities, I think. Let's see. Growing and plant cutting can be stepped down just a little bit. Until we catch up on a couple of these other chores that we need done. You can't leave all this blood laying around. That's, and that's just asking to invite the plague. Hell, the medical room has a 77% chance to infect people, I think is what that means. Room tend infection chance. Obviously, we want that as low as possible so wounds don't fester and rot. And Hintelin goes back to continue pumping out research at a blistering pace. And hey, our caravan is back. Welcome back, everyone. 
Metal Slime, Burton, Fell, and Gekromancer all stumble in here. Hopefully they can make it back. I'll keep that forbidden. I forgot their inventory is completely full. So hopefully they can make it back without pissing off any predators or highly territorial an animals like hippos. Hippos and rhinos. We have finished researching the Crucible upgrade. Allows colonists to smelt metals at the forge. We don't have a forge. I decided not to build one of those, I'm pretty sure. I think that is remnants of tribal, the tribal technology mod that I've got installed. That was useful in the last colony, kind of. Yeah, these guys are all about ready to fuck snap. It was a horrible long journey. They missed the air-conditioned uh, halls of our wonderful colony here. And our traps are just about done being reset. I'm going to assume that our colonists are smart enough to path over them without triggering them. If they could even be triggered by people, but we'll see. Stock is coming down here. And Finch got the order to go down there and grab the dead cassowary. So, another thing I wanted to do was, uh, we're gonna be mining this out to make this harder for the enemies to hide around here. I think we need to put something along this wall so the enemies uh, won't be able to take refuge and cover around it. If I'm not mistaken, in my last colony, somebody advised me to put barbed wire uh, around it. And that it would dissuade them from hiding along the wall. In fact, you know what? Let's put barbed wire all the way down that. We'll waste a bit of steel. Why not? Maybe that'll also convince them not to try and tunnel through or blast through my wall rather than just coming up through here. I'm trying to get all the trees cut down at some point as well so that there's even less cover out here in the danger zone and then what we'll be doing again at some point in the future as soon as I get around to researching and building it is draining all the water from this land here and actually doing a little bit more to secure it like I feel we could turn this into a little bit more of a maze have them come up here walk through a hallway maybe go all the way back through here uh, that has and that has a couple benefits of A, giving us more time before the enemy can get to us, and B, spacing the enemies out even more. The faster ones will get to us well before the sluggish ones, and we can fight them, hopefully, uh, more one-on-one -on -one instead of a big clusterfuck where we've got too many targets and not enough guns trained on them. So easy to build barbed wire. I wish everything was, could be built that quick. Uh, let's see. Fell. I need to have them drop all of their stuff. I don't care where they drop it. Fell. Gekromancer. Drop it all in there. In fact, let's just check everybody's inventory. Food and water. Veggie mush. Veggie mush and water. Occasionally, colonists get orders and they haul stuff, pick it up, and then forget to drop it. Burton's got steak and water. I like how everybody carries food with them, just in case. You never know. A jade shiv. It's his favorite jade shiv. I feel like we're missing some stuff here. I feel like I'm missing one person. We should have had additional supplies. can't risk forgetting any of that stuff. It's too damn valuable. I wonder why you wear so many pieces of clothing, Looney Lloyd. Shoulder pads, long coat, fabric brocade vest, fabric tunic. He wants his chest to be very well protected from who knows what. 
What are you so worried about? Yeah, I feel like we should have more plaz still than that. There's nine there. They'll get all this stuff hauled and set, set aside. And then we can decide what we want to do next. I can't really waste too much on turrets, like too many components on turrets because I forgot how much power they end up drawing. So we'll build uh, another machine gun, actually. Let me check. Takes five components, shit. I think it's worth having another machine gun. We've seen how powerful they are. Good rate of fire, massive stopping power. Does take somebody manning them, but I don't think they blow up from being shot three times either. <laughs> Unlike death turrets. Advanced components. High quality electronic equipment, miniaturized and hardened for the most stressful applications. Still have no idea what that is exactly used for, but we're going to find out at some point. Uh, and... Let's build one more battery somewhere. Might as well place it right there in the corner. They take two components, but we need them. Whenever that eclipse came and lasted less than 24 hours, we actually ran out of power. Which is not a good thing. I would like us to be able to survive at least a day without power. Because hell, at some point these things could even be attacked and destroyed. And then we'd really be screwed. We'd be back to eating dirt as soon as all of our supplies rotted away. Well, it's the 8th of April, May, 1 o'clock in the morning. Our caravan has returned with the much-needed supplies. It looks like our material analyzer just needs the gold hauled over to it. Which we may not have enough of. It says we need 20 gold. But sometimes small resources like this, uh, their numbers are actually uh, analyzed differently or used differently, so you need, end up needing more of them. Hopefully we can get that damn thing built, though. The mending bench is finished. Let's set something up here. That's going to drain even more power, 200 watts. We're going to mend simple apparel forever. And then simple weapons forever. I believe complex uh, materials and weapons, complex clothing and weapons, actually take components and other resources to mend them. Whereas we should be able to mend most of this stuff with cloth, leather, and we should have plenty of that laying around. I'm going to let the colonists get back to it. It's just good that everybody survived the caravan. Well, hello folks, and welcome back to Tafferton. It's the 12th of April, May, 6 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, let's see what's going on around here. I'm going to assume not too much right now. Kid Russia was calmed down by Looney Lloyd. Uh, he was in the middle of binging on alcohol. It had been the first time in years he had had a drink. And our brew was so damn good. He couldn't help himself but try and drink himself straight into a coma, apparently. Uh, component assembly has been finished, so we will be able to start making our own components soon. I don't know how difficult or hard that's going to be, but we'll find out. And, Goldeneye, congratulations. You were elected mayor. Saldownik's reign is now over with. Six people voted for you, which is pretty significant. Uh, Goldeneye, your platform was we need to be more mindful of each other. The mayor shouldn't meddle in the private affairs of colonists. You'll do what needs to be done. We're going to look at things the way they really are now. And we're stronger when we're united. We may not always agree or get along with each other. Or even accept the 
make various decisions that the factions in this colony make. But by God, we have to stick together to survive outside forces, apparently. And in other news, the second machine gun has been completed. I have decided to put it here. That way it'll have a straight line of fire down through here. And this one can plink away fire there. We can load up with people through here. And I think any siege that does decide to come down this way is going to end up very, very, very disappointed with themselves. Uh, I was also taking a look at some of these, uh, at this little area on some of these nooks and crannies. And I think one of the things that we're going to be adding over here at some point are turrets. Instead of having the turrets around my colony, the turrets will be the first line of defense. We can hollow this out and have like a sniper turret here that can take long plink shots at units as they come. And then when they round the corner, hell, maybe have a chain gun or two over here. We can turn this entire area into kind of a turret based kill box with pitfalls, traps, landmines, and who knows what else. Make it a little bit more of a pain in the ass for them to come over here and kill us. Still don't really know what we're doing about the north side there, but whatever. We'll figure it out when that time comes. Components are getting mined out, uh, which is a very good thing because we need a ton of them. Where are you going, Hentelin? No, don't run all the way down there. Need to get that compacted machinery. Sometimes they're not very efficient with their pathing decisions. Get all of those components up there, and that should be enough. We've got eight here, two there, ten. We need like 14 of them. Or where is it? I think it's under production. The component assembly bench takes 14 components, and it is... Wow, that thing is massive. I guess we can put it right there. It kind of it kind of fits. But if if I'm lucky, I'll have enough resources that we can actually make components. I don't think I've ever actually had one of these component research benches before. Almost always completely relied on mining the resources out of walls and digging them out of quarries and stuff. So I may have just completely wasted a ton of time researching something that I will get almost no use out of. The next thing that we are researching though, we're gonna knock out the easy clothing choice apparently and then go to advanced computing. This will allow us to create the computing system, which speeds up research and allows us uh, to research additional things here. Advanced physics, nuclear power, matter weaving, 3D printing. I'm not too worried about most of those things just yet. But we'll get that knocked out, and I'm not entirely sure what we want to go with next. At some point, I'd like to look into these little mm, autonomous drones, I guess. Have one or two set up for hauling, have one set for cleaning. You could even have an, a medical droid. You know, I'm not sure how useful they turn out to be. You could have dro drones that do nothing but cook. Or free up our colonists from wasting their time. Actually, yeah. We'll do moisture pumps third. Been talking about this one for quite a while. And that will allow us to drain the water from several of these areas. The first one will probably be going here, actually. Drain all of this water and then seal this up. Where are you going, Stock? Uh... There's components scattered all over the place. I just need to make sure that we mine out every single last chunk of them that we can. before retreating back inside our walls and compacted plans still. Eh. Yeah, there's compacted machinery down there. That is so far away, I don't know if we actually will get to it. And holy crap. Look at all these animals out here. A 
ton of capybaras. Like, this is the type of mass of meat that I would love to have attack us as enraged man-eaters. <laughs> because they would all just run up in front of our turrets up here and we could just plink away at them and get easy food. In fact, this is probably a bad idea. Finch, you've got the LMG. Get up here. I'm gonna have her try to kill some of these boomalopes. We need uh, as much meat as we can get. You get how far are you gonna run? There we go. I'm gonna guess these things don't really get mad. Also, their bodies might come. Might, don't don't get too close. Their bodies might burn up. Now that I think about it. Okay, don't. Occupational clothing. That was. Cool. I say don't get too close. Just because it's down doesn't mean it's safe. Once they blow up, uh, I'm perfectly fine with them burning all of this stuff out too. I don't need these trees or this grass right here. And also, it'll probably make it start raining if I just let the fire expand, so... Bring on the rain! You can put those bodies out before the meat gets completely burned away. And you turned useless. Three more components there. Six components there. Very shallow veins, unfortunately. What are you doing, Devil Stalker? You've been, like, following animals around, sniffing them. Since I first seen saw you on the map here. And Finch has asthma from smoking. Doesn't matter too much. It's a little bit of a hindrance, but nothing too serious. Yeah, we might not be able to get these bodies. It's the unfortunate thing, a side effect of trying to hunt boomalopes. They catch fire and explode when they die, and then their bodies burn away, so... Whatever. They were close enough to shoot at, so figured why the hell not. One boomalope got away. We've got two more chunks over here. It's not too terribly bad. Let's take a look at this, though. Our component assembly bench, 250 watts. I did build, I believe, two additional solar panels already, too, off screen. So our energy uh, problems should be minimal. We can make lightsabers here, finally! I was wondering where those could be built at. We do have one lightsaber crystal, a kyber crystal, red-orange. Oh, there goes another boomalope. So what's it take to make components? It takes ten ingredients. Okay. And what are the ingredients? It takes ten ingredients to make a component. GoldenEye, can you do this? Cannot produce components. Component assembly bench. Skill too low. So what is that? Crafting? Hintelin, what are you doing? You're the best crafter that we've got. He was talking to Saldalnik, but... Saldalnik needs to rest. He needs his beauty sleep to help manage what I'm going to assume is anxiety, right? No, it says asthma. So, you're going to haul patchwork leather tribal armor out of the way, perhaps? Yeah. He's making room and clearing the workspace. The table needs to be clean for the delicate work that is about to take place. I'm surprised that shit wasn't moved when it was built. Can't believe we're already running out of room here. I need to adjust people's workloads so that they will actually get in here and use some of these tailoring benches. Uh, when it comes to recycling, it's all dependent on their crafting skill, I'm pretty sure. He picks up 478 pieces of wood all at once. Hello, snake. See you up there. 
The snake wants to be our friend. I can I can sense it. It's our spirit ancestral guardian watching over us while we live and protect this land from raiders and mechanoids and insect uh, I don't want to call them insect invasions because they're not insect incursions insect infestations actually I think that's what the game calls them can't believe you had to move every single last piece off of there The only, the main reason I'm watching you, Hintelin, is because I want to see what resources you pick up for that. I'm going to assume it's steel. Making component. It's not plaz steel, is it? No. So tin steel for a component, I think. Unless there's multiple stages where it takes several stacks of tin in order to make it. If it's only tin, that's a very good conversion rate, and I'm going to assume that some type of mod uh, has influenced that. It takes 50 units of work to make one. That's not bad at all, so I will need to most likely set up a lot of people with crafting. I mean, most people already have it set to two or one. I have them, I have everybody set to mine right now, which I will be changing soon enough. So this right here is exciting. Being able to craft components out of steel is going to allow us to very quickly uh, fortify our base right here. I will most likely put another machine gun here and then multiple ones through here just in case we do get invaded from this side. I also wouldn't be surprised if I put one here and here. Fuck. People don't need weapons, actually. We'll just have a whole row of these. And then I'll find out that they explode like a... like hand grenades whenever they get shot a couple times, and I'll... be very upset. And hey, the rain did show up. After all of the bodies were burned into nothing. Go figure. It's just my luck. Got all of the components hauled out from down here, and there's also a ton of easy to get compacted still. Just waiting with an easy reach of the base. I have a feeling we're going to make some very significant progre progress quite quickly. Finally, right? There's a ton of things we need to build. Let's just take a look at some of them electric boilers. I don't know about wind pumps or any of that. There's the actual legitimate central air air conditioning units that we can build. Have, they have walk-in freezer um, upgrades, so we could put this in here. Remove these wall-mounted ones and ensure that this is sealed off even better. We wouldn't be pumping out heat into this room, which means I could seal it off and possibly use it for something. Irrigation sprinklers, too. Waters the surrounding area once every morning to improve the fertility of the soil through the day. Requires large amounts of water from water towers while spraying. Paint fixtures. Paint bathroom fixtures and radiators are strip paint off. Well, that's neat. Never seen that before. Oh yeah, the landing pad. Flat area allowing spaceships to land. This would open up additional trade for us. And we would need the orbital relay as well. This giant communication array is able to reach nearest mining coast ships and comms satellites orbiting the planet. Which I believe we could summon them and they would bring resources that we could buy. Decorations are not important yet. Having more UV hydroponics would be nice. And if I can quickly build a lot more solar panels and batteries, we could move almost all of our uh, all of our farming indoors if needed, and start sectioning this area off into various rooms as well. A giant rec room area, perhaps, little classrooms for teaching and things, additional bedrooms. Kind of exciting. 
high powered LED spotlight focused to roughly 45 degrees of intensive light. It doesn't say anything about taking power, but I guess it does. Okay. We'll look into having some spotlights at some point. If they actually assist in accuracy, then, uh, very nice. Actually, I guess it would be spotlight turrets that we would want. Because the last thing I need to do is waste manpower swiveling an LED light in somebody's face. Fucking 40 millimeter naval gun turret. I would love to see one of these things in action. Sniper turrets take three components and 250 steel. Military sleeping bags, that's interesting. This would be something worth crafting, perhaps. So we could take on a caravan with us. We've got the laboratory station that we need to build, the research terminal that we need to build. Curious what we could get out of a tinkering bench if I built it. Glassworks need built. Could probably use a drug lab too. Refineries? Good lord. There is a lot to do. I forgot that we also had the pod launchers and the transport pods, but for now, let's build an orbital. Well. I don't have a comms console yet. Takes 120 steel and four components. This is quite nice to have. So... Where should it go? I'm quickly running out of room. Most of these uh, little workstations, I believe I can pick up and move. Thankfully, not everything can be moved. Which is kind of unfortunate. The Metatrain table can't be... I have to destroy that. Solar generators can't be moved. Amazingly enough, the batteries can. So yeah, there is going to be some significant changes coming to the colony very soon. But for now, I think I'm going to end this video. Whenever we come back, we will probably have more components and I would not be surprised if we start to uh, redesign or at least upgrade our security before anything else. The last two raids that we've had have been generous, to say the least. We could be attacked by far more terrifying factions than the 8th Infantry or some drugged-up tribals.